What is up everybody? Today we're at the Frost Museum of Science here in downtown Miami and I wanted to show you guys this museum because I'm actually filming a different video. I am filming a video on how to get into here for free, legally of course. And there's actually a way if you live here in Miami-Dade County, you can get in here without paying the $30 admission. You can bring your whole family without paying the admission. So that video will be in the description or at the end of the video. So stick around and watch that one right after this because you'll be saving a lot of money. So there's a lot of things here. It's obviously a science museum, so you have to have some sort of interest, even if you don't. If the museum is good enough, it will do a good job of getting you interested in the sciences. Here we have what it says, an iron meteorite. So this came from space. It was donated by the Toomey Foundation. There's actually a massive aquarium that you can see from right above there. When you see it for the first time, it is just breathtaking. It is still is, I haven't been here in a while. We're gonna go upstairs, we're gonna check it out. But on this bottom floor here, this is right by the entrance of the museum. They hold shows for little kids right here. This is a interactive play area. Wherever you step, it'll light up. Check out this smaller aquarium. I'm not sure if it's connected with a bigger one. I don't think so, but they have a ton of fish species, some you may recognize. Look at this little guy. <laughs> Hello. But of course the most interesting one is upstairs. And I'm gonna show it to you guys right off the bat, the beginning of the video. I'm not gonna clickbait you guys into watching till the end because it is very breathtaking and I think we should showcase it in the very beginning of this video. Here it is. It's actually a stingray passing by right now. This is actually known as the Oculus, and you'll see from time to time again, they'll clean it, and you'll see scuba divers going in the tank and just pretty much scrubbing the surface of the glass. So it's presentable for you guys. By the way, this is a very rare sight. There is absolutely nobody here. Look at this. It's like nobody on this floor. Come here at like 11 in the morning on a Thursday, or pretty much any weekday. And you'll have this to yourself. You'll take all the pictures you want with nobody in the background. This spot is really dark in real life, but we can see jellyfish here. I honestly hate jellyfish. It's the reason why I don't really like the beach. Nothing's happened to me, but it's the what if that bothers me. Oh wow, here are the bigger ones. They do look cool, I'll be honest. It's just terrifying if I'm in the ocean with them. I like them behind glass. They're honestly beautiful. Like, what? I'm honestly not sure where I'm going. I haven't been here in a long time. There's just a lot of echo in this staircase. Just going upstairs. So we were on the first floor. Now we're going upstairs. These are, they look like mangroves. Yep, those are mangroves. These are very, very important, very essential part of South Florida. What are these? Whoa. These jellyfish? These are jellyfish that are upside down. What the? Oh, look at this guy. What the heck is, they look like dinosaurs. <laughs> that is scary. What is that? It honestly does not look real. It looks like I just walked into heaven. <laughs> Let me adjust the light. So we are on the third floor right now. These elevators are pretty cool because you can see them from the outside and it gives you a good view of the museum while you are inside of it as well. And obvious number markings here for which floor you are on. This is the entrance. So here's where you will buy your tickets. You can do it online ahead of time or you can use one of those kiosks right there. They have the ticket center. That's where I had to go to redeem my free access to this place. So we just left the aquarium. This is where the big tank is. There's also a cool view from up there, but we are going to go to Feather to the Stars. Feathers to the Stars. I think this is about space, my favorite topic. Actually, I think I do remember this exhibit. It's really cool. Here they have a book, Missions to Mars, Neil Armstrong, Apollo 11 astronaut, different pins from the museum, 
I will say it is pretty dark in most of this museum, unless you are outside, but wow, this is pretty cool. If I do remember correctly, they have some, yep, yeah, right here. So they have papers here that you can build your own airplane and then pretty much launch it through here. Since I don't remember how to build an airplane, I'm going to use this one and show you guys what I mean. I'm not sure if I did that right, but you're supposed to... Okay, that was a fail. Let me try it again. Um... Oh! Okay, so it does work. We have models of airplanes here, a helicopter. This one is my favorite. So this is the RL-10 engine. It powered the second stage of the Saturn I rocket. So before Saturn V, this right here is a Saturn V. So the Saturn one will be a smaller version of that. And this is the engine that was on the top part of it, the second stage. Oh, wow. Okay, so you could generate lift by pressing a button. Okay, so it says press the black button to remove the air from inside. So I think we're going to treat this like a vacuum, pretty much. So I'm holding the black button and it is pretty much going to the green color. So there should be no air in there, I guess. And then I press the green button. So now we are operating in a vacuum, as you can see there. It's not really going up. Okay, so this one demonstrates gravity assist. There's two subjects here, presumably planets. And you'll be able to, let's see. Observe how it pretty much interacts with them. It gets like a boost off of each other. See that? Kind of works like a slingshot. All right, we are now at the very top floor and this is actually a pretty cool one that I do remember. So here it's actually generating a whirlpool. Take a look at that. It says, can you balance the ball on the water jet? I don't know if it means this. So pretty much this one demonstrates blocking the flow of water. This one blocks it entirely right here. So you can see water going down. And then if I put it back, well this one has a hole. If I put it back, it is blocked entirely. I can actually block flow of water from all sides. So it's a cool thing to teach the little ones how water interacts with dams, for example. So let's go ahead and release the water again. And there you go. We're now going to the Spencer Aviary. So do have measures to keep whatever's in here out from the public unless you go through these two layers but here we have i think these are mangroves oh there's actually some wildlife here and of course a fish tank it should have some stingrays so we're gonna go actually outside again so they do have stingrays here so you guys can see you are allowed to touch them it says how to touch stingrays pretty much use your two fingers and try to touch these areas not anywhere else you guys remember the oculus where we saw the big fish we are on the top part of it right now so they pretty much dive in here go down there and we see them from the level right below I think we're gonna take the elevator once again. There is a higher level. You can go all the way to the top, actually. So, so far this place is pretty cool. They have a bunch of exhibits for anyone, all ages, mostly towards kids, but I mean, I still find it fascinating. Here, you will get some of the best views of downtown Miami's growing skyline. So we are pretty much at the very top of the museum on the roof. Doesn't get much better than this, guys. I have like a little walkway here, it's beautiful. And of course, construction. They're actually rebuilding the causeway. If you're local, you'll probably care about this. I have a video on that that you can also check out on this channel. Flew my drone over it. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, be sure to leave a like. It helps the channel, helps people find this video. And also consider subscribing because I am a local here. I live in Miami Beach and I love to go explore the city 
and other areas across South Florida. So if you want to join me for that ride, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you won't miss a video. They do have some kind of cycling thing, I guess to generate power, let's see. Oh, the lights turned on. I am generating power with my own energy. If I stop, it turns off. Turn it on. Stop. I just lowered it. Ah. So this, check out the light. Turns off, on. So this is using assistance from the solar panels that is right up there. Actually, I left my glasses on the pull-up thing, so now I am in a panic. I don't even remember where that was. They're not expensive, but the sun is beaming down on my eyes. I honestly do not remember where those glasses are. They might be the level below. We're on the fourth and it's not here. I remember that I dropped it. I think it is actually on camera. <laughs> I felt right behind me. No, it's not here. I think it's this level down here. And I took note of it. I was like, when I'm done with this, I'm going to pick it up. And I forgot. I just walked away from it. God damn it. Someone took my glasses. I don't know if there's a lost and found here, but... Alright, let's try this again. Can't drop glasses if I don't have them. Alright, we are crossing again below the Oculus. So we can walk to the science store. See what they have on sale. By the way, this is a model of the very same museum we're at right now. So this is the plaza right outside. We walked in right through here, the main entrance. You can also exit through here where they have the food store. You can't enter through there, but you can exit through there. You can enter if you have, I guess, the wristband already. And of course, the garden at the rooftop is right here. And then the planetarium dome right there. Actually, we will not be allowed into the store because they're making improvements. But I can give you a little bit of the store from out here. They have various books, various pieces of clothing, more books, souvenir. It's a pretty good store, honestly, but it is closed right now. We also have coffee here. If you want to get refreshed on that, wake up in the morning. And various drinks here, chips, snacks. They also have food that you can eat. If you're hungry, you eat this before because you're not allowed to take anything from here inside of the museum. Alright guys, we have just wrapped up our visit to Frost Museum of Science. Thank you so much for watching and remember, I got into this for free. So if you're a resident of Miami-Dade County, be sure to click on the video somewhere on the screen here or in the description to watch and find out how you can go into this museum for free with four people, two adults, two kids. And it's not just this place, but other attractions across Miami-Dade County. Whew, it's hot, I'm gonna go to my car, I'm gonna go edit this video, so thank you so much. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.